doing life wrong. <laughs> Amateurs at restaurants, oh yeah. You can bet, like, all right, when I go on the road, I like to eat at the, the mom and pop places. I, I like to support the small businessmen. I like to go to, right? I do, I, I'm a huge fan of that. I like to, I, you know, I like to support, you, the, the, the food's better, the service is better, you get to know the locals and everything. So I was on the road, I saw this old school diner, neon sign flashing. Try our omelet breakfast special, $5.99. I'm like, great. Walk in, it's old school. Jukebox in the corner, the, the waitress had a big beehive hairdo, right? She called me honey. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. I sit down and uh, she was like, well, what do you have there, hon? I said, how about that omelet special you got going? And she goes, what kind? And I said, oh, yeah, um, how about an egg white omelet? And she says, oh, um, um, I don't think we have egg whites. <laughs> it's like, here we go. And I said, do you have eggs? And she goes, well, of course. <laughs> All right, well, I don't want to break this to you, Flo, but like 75% seven, of that egg is white. <laughs> she goes, oh, you mean the shell? <laughs> yeah, give me an egg shell omelet. I like, and I like my omelets real jagged and sharp. I like a throat culture first thing in the morning. I'm, can I have some lemonade for the cuts? What's wrong? I'm explaining an egg to an adult. <laughs> It's like, how have you lived this long and not drunk Clorox by mistake? What's the matter with you? <laughs> so I'd rather eat at the, the mom and pop places. I, I, I try to avoid chain restaurants like a Friday's and Applebee's. The food's okay. I can't get past the atmosphere in these places. When did it become hip and trendy to nail like sharp, heavy, jagged farm implements to the walls and ceiling? <laughs> yeah, because at home I often eat under a wheelbarrow. What is wrong with that? I don't understand. How am I supposed to relax in this place? I'm trying to eat. I got an anvil above my head. Is this the Wiley e. Coyote Cafe in here? Waiter comes over. Can I get you anything else? Yeah, can I have a little umbrella and a sign that says, yikes, how about that? <laughs> Amateurs. Buffets? No, don't do buffet restaurants. No. No, I like variety. My question is, who's choosing, who's picking what goes into the buffet. You know, if you've been to a buffet, you got your tray and you're putting stuff on it. By the time you get to the end, you have assembled this bizarre meal that you would never eat at your own house. I'm out with the other comedians like, Lou, what do you got? I'm like, I got chicken, pixie sticks, and a turnip. All right. What do you have? He's like, spaghetti, vanilla pudding, and beets. All right. My other buddy's pouring beer into his Rice Krispies. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I felt pressured. They had it. <laughs> Snap, crackle, burp. All right, let's do that. I will eat fast food, I admit it. I try to avoid it, but you know, I get a hunkering for it, you know. I went to a fast food joint the other day, went in the restaurant, not the drive through standing in line, woman in front of me, she's ordering. She's like, yeah, can I get the bacon western cheeseburger? Whatever. Guy behind the counter says, uh, yes, ma'am, would you like to make that the combo? It was like this lady had to choose a college all of a sudden. She was like, the combo? Ooh, whoa. Uh, she's looking around for help. I'm like, it's not Sophie's choice. Do you want it or not? All right, it's not that hard. Finally, she says, and I quote, I don't get it. Who says that? I don't get it. What comes with the combo? I just snap. I'm like, Brussels sprouts and Ovaltine. What do you think comes with the combo? Is this your first day in America? How many things are on the hamburger in 2021? Oh, the combo, what that is? That's a burger and crackers and gum. It's our burger, cracker, gum combo. Now there's no drink. We call it our dry mouth special. Amateurs, and I, I, I'll eat fast food. I will not do the dollar menu. No, 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 charge me more, okay? <laughs> Some things need to cost, well, you're, a dollar hamburgers, dollar tacos? You mean to tell me you're charging me a dollar on a hamburger and you're still making a profit? <laughs> what part of the cow is this? This is the eyelid of the cow? <laughs> Nick Nostril? I, come on, I had more beef in a Tic Tac. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Amateur nation, man. Am I went to a party the other day. Called my friend up and said, hey, I'm coming down. Do you need to bring anything? He's like, no, nah, I think we're good. Just come on down. Then I hear some women in the background yelling something. And he goes, do me a favor. Some of the women here, they're asking for donuts. Can you stop by Krispy Kreme? I'm like, all right, donut party. Let's get bloated. I'm like, all right. 
But they want it, I'll go get it. So I go to Krispy, it's like 8.45 at night, okay? I'm the last customer of the day. I'm the only person there. It's just me and Mrs. Cream. I don't know what her name is. <laughs> and I'm polite, I go, yeah, can I get two dozen glazed? She goes, is that for here to go? <laughs> yeah, here. And uh, do you sell insulin too? Uh, where can I plug in my defibrillator? Because... I'm gonna eat 24 donuts now. <laughs> Here's my cell phone. Dial 911 and just kind of hover over the send button, all right? Keep an eye on me. Hi, and thanks for watching. Be sure to download the Drybar Comedy app and use promo code Lou Santini when you sign up.